Hey Church, my name's Catherine and I am so glad that you are joining us today as part of our month and prayer and fasting. It's very early in the morning here, the kids are still in bed. I've got my coffee and this is going to be a great next few moments that we've got together today. I want to read a scripture from Genesis 1 28 as today we're focusing on leaders. It says this, God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. As a church, we are passionate about raising leaders to expand our reach, to transform cities and ultimately to populate heaven. And to do this, we each need to take um, personal responsibility for our own spiritual growth and to rise up within. You know, this combats the need to control our lives through striving or fears or to passively relinquish responsibility for the things that we need to take responsibility for. But for us to plant and sow and work and dig and to feed ourselves to grow, you know, to wrestle, to uh, live in a new way, just like Jacob did in the Old Testament, was to leave his old self behind and to rise up as Israel. You know, we are created, and I know you know this, to be in relationship with God, to surrender all that we are, and from that posture, empowered to lead. You know, as we see in the beginning, God blessed mankind and said to them, be fruitful, increase, subdue or overcome and rule, lead over. And as Pastor Glynn said recently, do not live under what, what we have the power to pray over. Thankfully, Christian leadership or spiritual leadership isn't about knowing everything, thank God for that, but knowing him, knowing Jesus, the one who formed us and healed us and redeemed us and empowered us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Recently, I asked the students at Audacious College, how do people live without Jesus? Like seriously, how is it even possible? You know, church, I wouldn't want to live one more day without the love and grace of God, without his breath breathing life into my lungs, you know, so that I can trust in his uh, leadership is in his promises, in his unchanging character, to know that his breath fills my lungs and that he speaks his blessing over us today so that we can live and so that we can overcome. I would love you to join us today in praying over four areas over our, lead over our leaders. Um, the first thing is blessed. Pray a richness of blessing and ridiculous favour over our senior pastors for continued healing for Pastor Glenn and for open doors. The second thing, uh, subdue. Pray for all of our campus pastors and senior leaders that they would overcome in every area of their lives and leadership and for divine protection. The third thing, uh, fruitful and increase. Pray over every leader with an audacious church to take responsibility to remain in him, to keep sowing and digging and planting and to see an increase like never before and to rule. Pray for all those who have influence in business and leadership in their workplaces to see God open doors that no man can shut, to see promotions and increase and supernatural favour stand together and pray over our leaders today and we pray that we will rise up to raise up have a great rest of your day we love you church god bless